let's check out how to calculate a pump power so you're calculating a specific energy what does that mean is energy per unit mass or joules per kilogram when we use the mechanical energy equation so what will happen if we multiply by the mass flow which is kilograms per second you will cancel kilograms with kilograms and you are left with joules per second and that is how many work you do per unit time that is power okay that's what exactly I told you so how do we get this very interesting part right here well you need to know of course the head of the pumping requirements so this is how many joules per kilogram you got and you got this from the mechanical energy equation which is very useful to calculate this right here you will also need the efficiency and you will also need the mass flow okay and once you got that you're set typical power units it's the watt or kilowatt which is joule per second or kilojoules per second that's beautiful international system you got horsepower which is uh, a trivial unit but it's very used in pumping also brake horsepower is the same it's pretty similar or you got this right here which is the English unit for foot pounds per minute but I don't like it and it's not that used so I will definitely recommend you to do it in the international system and then change it to horsepower which is I think 70.35 watts uh, brake horsepower at the output shaft of an engine, turbine or motor blah 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 it's essentially the same horsepower but this is done on a unit of for example, a turbine, a motor, a shaft, and so on. Uh, wait, wait. Before going to the exercise, just let me show you why we say horsepower. I, it is literally the power done by a, a horse. They, this guy measure how can a horse move these 75 kilograms one meter. So you know this is work. We are moving something of mass we have a gravity so we have a force and we have a distance so work equals force times distance force times distance equals work and in how much time can he do it or can the horse do it is one second so you know power equals let me show you power equals work per time work equals force by uh, multiplying by distance and force equals mass times acceleration or in this case gravity so what do we have here we have gravity yes because we are in earth do we have a mass yes we have 75 kilograms do we have a distance yes we have a one meter do we have a set of time yes we have one second so actually the power done by this horse was about 70 735.5 watts very interesting definition of horsepower so it's nice because you could do use before I don't know maybe you had 10 horses you would say I have a 10 horsepower uh, chariot or something like that and it was good before but since we don't use anymore that much horses it's a little bit very trivial but it's still used in the industry of pumping so it's important to know it so guys, let's do this little exercise with some pump requirements. We have probably we have this pipeline which operates this pump and we're going maybe to increase or do some tasks. So we have the pump, we have a mass flow, and this is interesting, we have a efficiency. We need to use this efficiency when we use more than two kilojoules per task. And we have this one when we use less than that. So they tell you that the head well, the requirement is 1.4 kilojoules per kilogram so let's do it we have this right here kilograms per second okay the total power will be the mass flow which is 1.3 kilograms per second the system head which is 1.4 kilojoules per kilogram and this is very interesting guys why do we choose 0.72 because your requirement is less than 2 kilojoules so we need to use 72 percent this is interesting guys as you increase the power many times you increase efficiency when you decrease power you many times need to 
work in another curve of efficiency. So anyways, I got these 2.53 kilojoules per second or kilowatts. And that's the power requirement, that's so easy. If you need more, of course this was a very simple problem, but if you need extra material, you can always go to the courses, check out the momentum transfer, go to apply fluid dynamics course, part number one, and you will find more solved problems and even more theoretical quizzes for you to test. This is Lightshow and much more. See you in the next video guys. This was a free preview. You want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course. The link is in the description of the video. You will get all access. Not only that, you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface. So for instance, you were analyzing or studying pumps. You have it here, the pump block. Then you have the sections. If you were, for example, studying the types of pumps, you can go here and you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.